In this tutorial, we will learn about the mid function. So in the formula tab, we will click the text category and here we will get the mid function. So we got the function argument window. Now here you can see the mid function returns the character from the middle of a text tree. That means we can extract the character from the middle of the text given a starting position and length. So here condition is you have to give the starting number from where you want to extract the characters and how many character you want to extract. So here we have three arguments. All the three are compulsory. We have to use all these three arguments otherwise you will not get any result. So first is text. So text is the string from which you want to extract the characters. So here we want to extract the character from this a3 cell. You can see we do not got any result. Now the starting number. So from where we want to extract the character. Suppose here we want to extract 589. So the position of the 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4. So here we have to type 4. Still we didn't get any result. And now here number of characters. I mean how many character you want to extract. So here we want to extract 3 characters. So here we will type 3. We got here 5, 8, 9. Okay. So we got this number. So remember, it is a number or a text. While we are using left function, mid function or right function, then we will get the result as a text. You can see this number are left aligned. That means this number is stored as text. Now, if you drag this, you can see we got three characters from all the text string from the fourth position. So here we will change. Suppose here our text is okay. Starting number should be from C. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So starting position should be 5. And we want to get complete this word. This 3, this 6, 7, 8. So number of character should be 8. Sorry, it should be 9. So we got computer, but here it should be starting position should be 6. Okay. Now here, if we want to get the first 3 character, then here the starting number position should be 1 and number of character should be 3. So we got January, that is Jan. And for Sunday, we got day because this is the fourth position here you can see we have given fourth position and number of character 3 so from the fourth position it is d a y and here if i want to get last two digits so we need to know the position of 2 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so starting position is 12 and number of character should be 2 so we got 25 so in this way we can use the mid function. So here we have used all these are constant numbers. And now we will learn how to use this mid function in our real life problems. And here we will use the start number and number of characters as a dynamic, not constant. So here we can see we have the names of persons. And from here, we want to extract the first name, middle name and the last name. So how to do that with the mid function? Let's see. So first, use equal to mid. Now the text. So text is our this string, comma, starting position. So for the first name, the starting position should be always 1, comma, number of characters. So number of characters should be the position of the space that is here in this case, it is 6, but we want up to j that is 5. So position of the space minus 1. So what is the position of first space of every text string? So to know that we have to use search function. So use search find text. So what text we want to find? We want to find this first space. So space comma within text. So within text is this cell comma starting number so we do not need to use the starting number because we want to search this from the first character 
so if we do not use this starting number it will automatically by default take it as 1 so we will not use the starting number bracket close so this will give us the position of the space you can see here 6 then here we have to use minus 1 then bracket close and enter we got the first name and now track you can see we got the first name for all these names now we want to get the middle name so again start equal to mid our text is this cell comma starting number so in case of middle name the starting number is after the space so here again we want to find the first space so you search find text is space comma within text is this cell itself comma starting number so we don't need starting number bracket close so here we have to use plus one because here the position of the space is six but we want from the seventh position so plus one so if i select here and press f9 you can see we got seven now comma number of characters how many characters we want from the seventh position so in this case here it has five character here it is three three six seven eight character so different middles have different number of characters so this should also be a dynamic so number of characters should be the second space minus first space so what is the position of second space so again start with search find text is space comma within text this cell comma starting number here we want to use this starting number because we have to count or we have to search this second space after the first space that is from the seventh position for that we need to know the position of the first space plus one so here in the starting number we have to again use search space that is this function this formula comma within text this cell bracket close plus one so this will give us seventh position so this search will search the character space from the seventh position so here we got the second position of the space press f9 sorry so here we have to put another bracket now press f9 we got 12 so this is the 12th position now we have to minus this position so here minus again search find text space comma within text this cell bracket close then bracket close for mid and then press enter we got kumar now drag we got all the middle name now the last name with mid equal to mid our text is this cell comma starting number is our second space plus one to find the position of the second space you search then find space within text this cell comma starting number again search find text space comma within text this cell bracket close plus one bracket close so this one became the 12th position but here we need 13th position so here we have to use plus one then comma number of characters so number of characters should be total length of the text minus the second position of the space so here type len this cell bracket close minus we need to get the second position of the space so our starting number that is this is the second position plus one so we don't need plus one from here we have to copy it and paste it here so this is the second position so 
if I press here now F9, we got 4. You can see here, there are 4 characters for last name. Now, press enter. Yes. Now, drag this. We got all the last name. So, in this way, with the help of meet function, we can get the first name, middle name and last name extracted from a full name. And now, we will understand the third example. So, here we have a text, this pen cost rupees 100. So, from this text, we want to get the text rupees 100. And here, you can see this is in the last position of the text. And here, I gave rupees 50 to Amit. So, here, rupees 50 in the middle of the text. And this is a long text. So, here also we have one currency that is rupees 150. So, we want to get 100 from here. Rupees 100, rupees 50 and rupees 150. So, how to use this? So, you have to understand this very carefully because this is a quite difficult formula. So, here first use mid, then text. From which text you want to extract the currency that is rupees 100. So, this is our this cell starting number. So, if I do in the same way we have done here, we can search here the position of R or the rupees. So, comma, search, find text, RS, comma, within text, this cell. So, bracket close. So, we got this starting position that is 16. It's okay. Now, number of character. So, we don't know the number of characters because in this case, here it is 6 character. Here it is 5 character. So, we cannot ascertain the final number of characters because there are too many space. So, how to do that? So, here delete all this. So, here for text, we will use substitute function. Substitute. So, our text is this cell i3, comma, old text. So, here we want to remove all this space, comma. And instead of this space, we want to put the total number of space of this length. That is, new text should be repeat this function. Text is space and number of times. How many times we have to repeat this space? This is len bracket close, this cell bracket close. Then bracket close for repeat and bracket close for substitute. Now, if I select this and press F9, you can see in this way the text changes. This is this, then there are space of this length for all these words. And now, here we will put comma and now we will find the position of the rupees. So, here we have to use search, find text is RS, comma within text. So, this is the text where we have to find. So, select this one or you can type and then comma. Here, the starting number, we do not need starting number. So, bracket close, comma, number of characters. So, number of characters should be the length of this text. Then bracket close for mid. So here if you want to see this one is this. You can see the text where we will find the rupees 100. Then starting number became 76. If you count from here, you will get the position of R is 76. Then for number of characters, we will get 21 characters. So from rupees, we will get 21 characters. So now... So now press enter. So we got rupees 100. And if we drag down, we can see we got all this. But here, if I want to check equal to len, select this cell, bracket close and enter. We got six character here. Now drag this. Here we have 21 characters. But we can see here we have only five character. And here we have six character. 
so this length are incorrect so here we have to remove this space so here you can use trim then here bracket close enter so here you can see 5 and here also 6 so this is the formula with the help of which you can get a text string from the middle of the text with the help of trim mid substitute repeat and search function so in this way also you can use the mid function to get some characters from the middle of the text so i hope you have understood this tutorial very well but still if you have any problem regarding this tutorial you can write me in the comment section you will get the link of this practice file in the description box and if you like this video please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe our channel so that you can get regular notification when we upload new excel videos thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial